Chronicles. The story begins by introducing our two young lovers, Lee Dong Hee, played by Lee Min Ki, and Jang Young, Kim Min Hee. As is synonymous with working in Korea, the young workers are expected to work long hours and so often happens, couples tend to meet their romantic interests at their place of work. This is what happens when our two main characters, as they have been dating in secret for the past three years, in the hope of not attracting too much attention to their budding relationship. However, early on in the movie, the pair go through a pretty messy split. Of course, when two people in the same place of work are dating, their split ripples throughout the standard chartered bank in which they work, resulting in tons of gossip and scandal. Obviously, this is a very real depiction of how relationships, and especially breakups, take place in a working environment and only serve to justify the couple's decision to keep their relationship quiet. Before their co-workers find out at a company dinner, Young's friend introduces her to another man by the name of Sam. But Dong Hee doesn't like what he's seeing and starts talking badly of Jang Young, which results in her pouring beer all over him and a huge row ensues, which obviously outs the pair to their previous unaware co-workers. Obviously, now the entire office knows the pair have previously dated. Dong Hee, who is trying to save face, tells his ex-girlfriend that he wants his laptop back. Of course she sends it back to him, but smashes it to little pieces before mailing it. Dong he, who obviously decides not to be the bigger man, mails back her things, but also sends back some rotten food. As the bitter split continues, Jang Young then logs into Dong He's Facebook account and finds out that he has already semi moved on and has recently started seeing a new girl. But even after all the drama and the immature response of both parties, the pair decide to give their relationship another chance, which usually we would be all about, but the writing appears appears to be on the wall for this relationship from the very beginning. After a pretty heavy intro, the film then really gets into the nitty gritty of the relationship. And as the two begin dating again, they go through a brief honeymoon phase once again as all relationships tend to do, but as often happens when two people who have previously dated get back together, the honeymoon period soon ends when the same problems which caused the couple to break up in the first place start creeping back into the relationship. Previous to getting back together, Young had warned Dong Hee during their reconciliation that although two people who split are likely to get back together, they are also just as likely to split up again, claiming that only 3% of couples who get back together stay together. And it's quite obvious at this point that this is somewhere we're heading. Both Dong Hee and Jang Young suffer from complicated, deep-rooted trust issues sprouting from the time spent together before their first breakup. And obviously, Jang Young's brief fling with the co-worker did nothing to help in this department. There are also issues about boredom within the relationship, and the pair are often dishonest to see each other regarding where they see the relationship heading and what they ultimately want. Dong Hee, who seems to be angry more often than not, would probably benefit from anger management classes. But Jang Young would never suggest this to her other half, and admittedly, she is no saint either. She often tells little white lies, of course, just to avoid conflict with the hot-headed Dong Hee, but her little white lies often snowball into bigger lies as, ultimately, they lead to the destruction of trust. Of course, the couple have a shared experience of the aforementioned breakup, and trust is very much at a premium, as throughout the film, they are very few occasions in which the couple actually tell each other exactly what they're thinking. Their old feelings slowly come back, and old insecurities rear their ugly heads. Jang Young has told Dong Hee that she wants him to be more involved in their relationship and interested in the things that she is interested in, but Dong Hee would rather do his own thing most of the time, like staying in bed to sleep in on his days off rather than spending time with Jang Young at an amusement park. 
Dong Hee does try to make the relationship work, but it is quite obvious that he is only pretending to be interested in Jang Young and the things she wants him to be interested in as he just wants to appease her and basically stop her nagging it, which is obviously a recipe for disaster. The couple gradually realize once more why they split up in the first place, and Young, who suffers from extreme self-consciousness and anxiety over how Dong He will react to anything she does, a sure sign of a failing relationship, constantly worries that she will upset him by saying the wrong thing, which is exactly how she felt before the first breakup. Of course, this is a huge problem for Jang Young, who feels trapped in the relationship because she cannot completely express exactly how she feels without Dong He exploding into a rage. As charming as Jang Young can be, she is likable and obviously beautiful. The audience are often screaming at the screens for her to get rid of this dislikable character of Dong He as he just slips back into his old ways of making her life miserable. And it is clearly evident that she is better off without it, as Dong He's many character flaws ultimately mean the pair are destined not to be together. And unfortunately, it will eventually be a harsh lesson for Jang Young to learn, but one that she obviously needs to learn quickly. From here on out, the story becomes less and less cheerful, but it's the office style is something fans cling on to for some much needed comic relief. Dong He and Jang Young can continue trying to salvage what's left of their relationship into the third act, long after audience members have realized it is over, even if they haven't realized it for themselves. Dong He keeps lying to himself that he can and will actually change, continually uttering things like, I will be good to her, and I'll try harder to make this work, which seems easier said than done for a character such as Dong He. Of course, we see very little evidence of Dong He actually changing, unfortunately for Jang Young. Very ordinary couple shows the more complicated parts of relationships, and the miserableness continues as the pair are obviously annoyed by each other's company and continue to force smiles whilst in each other's presence. The end of the movie is one of the more obvious ones fans of the romantic comedy genre will have ever seen, as most of the audience were able to predict from pretty early on in the movie where we were heading. After one argument too many in the middle of the rain, Jang Young and Dong He break up yet again. But this time, there is much less animosity, which hints that it's probably for good. The rain then suddenly clears and our two former lovers are confronted with clear skies as they ride a roller coaster, which serves as the perfect metaphor for how tumultuous their relationship has been and how much of a roller coaster the film has been. It was also probably a reminder to Jang Young that earlier in the film, Dong He had made such a stink about going to the amusement park Park because he wanted to lie in bed all day. After the roller coaster ride, the exes finally part ways of the film ends, with the audience probably happy the couple were no longer an item. The ending was a very ordinary ending to a very ordinary couple, and was as understated as the pair's relationship throughout. As much of a roller coaster as it had appeared throughout, it served to show that although you can say 1,000 I love yous, one breakup can erase all all of that, as Dong He mentions at one point in the film. As always, thanks for stopping by today for us to review Very Ordinary Couple. And remember to stop by next time when we will be reviewing some more fun movies. Also, if you haven't liked and shared yet, what are you guys waiting for? And remember to subscribe to our channel. Bye guys.